Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm Denise Juno, Seattle Public Schools Superintendent. When I was a young girl growing up on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation in Montana, I would never have dreamed my path would lead to Seattle Public Schools. My story takes me from Head Start to Harvard. I've had the opportunity to lead public education for the state of Montana. And I was the first American Indian woman elected to a statewide executive office anywhere in the country. I'm also a proud product of public education. It was my community and my education in public schools that set me up to take advantage of opportunities that have come my way. And I've learned a lot along my journey. As you take this next big step, here are some tips for the road. Breaking news, adults don't have it all figured out. We just act like we do. So embrace uncertainty and know that learning never ends. It's okay to fail. In fact, it's better than okay. It is necessary to create new and innovative solutions. And that's something we really need right now as a nation and global community. And if you have a good idea, act on it. Don't wait. Trust yourself. The world needs your brilliance. You are such a special class of young people because you have already proven that you can roll with the punches, that you can thrive even in the middle of a global pandemic. You have demonstrated that you have the will and skill to get through whatever life throws at you. You are ready and you are already leading by showing up and advocating for change, supporting each other and doing it with courage and bravery. You have earned this celebration of all of your hard work. I urge you now to take your education and walk through the doors of opportunity as they open to you. Believe in yourself and believe that no dream is out of reach. Make your voice heard and take leadership roles wherever you find yourself. The world needs your voice, your skills, your knowledge, and your inspiring stories of success. Graduates, as you receive your diploma, know that all of your fans, your family, friends, and community are also very proud of what you've accomplished. When you succeed, each and every one of us benefits. I congratulate you, Class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you do next. Good evening, family, friends, faculty, and graduates. Well, you did it. You've all accomplished one of the major early milestones of your lives, high school graduation. Congratulations. What a year 2020 has been so far, right? As I sat down to write out a speech to offer to you tonight, I struggled to think of words that would honestly encapsulate this strange end of the school year. I found a quote from Lin-Manuel Miranda when he was giving a graduation speech that I thought was apt. He said, my dear terrified graduates, you're about to enter the most uncertain and thrilling period of your lives. The stories you're about to live are the ones you will be telling your children and grandchildren and therapists. <laughs> I think he was actually talking about college, but I feel, felt like these words rang true about this year and the coming few during a pandemic. The challenging things we are currently dealing with as a city, country, and as a world is difficult to even describe in a way that would be appropriate for a time which should be joyous. I just want to acknowledge that you may not be feeling joyous currently in the midst of tragedy, inequality, and illness. That's okay. I do hope that we can find brief respite in celebrating your accomplishments and sharing in a unique experience of this graduation ceremony together today. Nothing has gone quite as anyone had planned. You all have persevered during the historic events like a massive protest in the streets in many cities across the country, fighting for racial equality, a global pandemic that has cut our in-person school year and many thousands of lives short. And you've experienced all of the grief anxiety and loss that goes with those events. It's just a lot to take in. I hope you all will continue to be hopeful that these events will be a catalyst for change for the better. I know that each of you, as the resourceful, authentic, kind, clever, and compassionate people that I know you to be, that you will be able to use this year's difficult experiences to drive a better future for everyone. This is a major step in the journey of your lives one that should be recognized for its immense significance. A high school diploma opens many doors of opportunity. 
but graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of a larger journey of life. Graduation should serve as a launching point, propelling you to whatever your futures are meant to take you. In this time of a pandemic of general unrest, one thing we realize is that life is about growing and changing. As you all continue on in your lives, let you each take on each new problem with curiosity and care, knowing that you have achieved great heights and are equipped with the necessary tools to tackle your futures and whatever lays ahead for you. The road that lies ahead won't be easy all the time. You will keep pushing because you know we can achieve our dreams and you can, because you know you're worth it. From this day forward, let you make each decision with confidence. Let you believe in yourselves so that you may reach your goals and fulfill your dreams. You've already taken the first step by making it to this ceremony today. Now it's time to take the next steps in the journey that is your lives and to begin to build your futures. Congratulations, Middle College High School Class of 2020. Hello and thank you for allowing me to be with you today. To everyone watching and most importantly the students, congratulations on reaching graduation day. My name is Michael Dernal and I serve as the president and CEO of the Simon Youth Foundation. Now more than ever, it gives me great pleasure and it is an honor to be able to be with you to celebrate your graduation day. The unprecedented challenges presented by COVID-19 pandemic have no doubt affected you, your family, the community, and all of us. But despite all of that, we've been able to see graduates. We've been able to see students who have done whatever is necessary to complete the credits, to complete the courses, to receive their high school diploma. Like so many of the Simon Youth Foundation students before you, you have faced difficult circumstances, but you've met these challenges head on to prove that SYF means graduation no matter what. All of us are incredibly proud of the work that you have done, the time you have put in, and the commitment that you have had to get to your graduation day. Simon Youth Foundation is a national not-for-profit that works with your teachers in your school districts and a local Simon Center to help students reach graduation day. We also support students with scholarships across the country to help them go on to post-secondary education. And through all of this work, we feel like we have played just a small role in your educational journey. Many of you likely arrived at the Simon Youth Academy not sure what to expect, and I'm sure none of you thought that this is the way that your year would end. You were expecting to finish school and have a regular graduation ceremony, and perhaps those can happen in the future. But your district's partnership with the Simon Youth Foundation has allowed us to support your ongoing work and to hopefully help you reach this graduation day. And while the global pandemic has meant that your school year, your daily life, perhaps even your goals have been altered forever, it doesn't mean that this diploma is not worth having. You know, perhaps you've had to learn how to do your homework on a single device shared among your siblings and your family. Perhaps many of you have been pressed into service as essential workers so that others can continue the work that they need to do, balancing your own health and your livelihood in order to help your family. Perhaps some of you have lost loved ones to COVID-19. No matter what though, you have achieved your high school degree. Yet in spite of it all, you have reached graduation day. And I hope all of you now will be seen for who you truly are a high school graduate. Once you have this diploma in your hand, no one can take that away from you. And with that diploma in hand, you are now empowered to go out into the world and do wonderful things, whether it is going into the world of work, becoming a first responder, joining the armed services, or continuing your education, perhaps even working on the front lines of this pandemic. You can do that because you have this diploma in hand. And no matter where that journey takes you, I hope that you will always know that you are a special part of the Simon Youth Foundation, 20,000 alumni across the country. Class of 2020, you have overcome unimaginable challenges to make it today, but you have done it. On behalf of the Simon Youth Foundation and all of us who work with your teachers and your schools, congratulations on reaching your graduation day. 
You deserve to be celebrated, and we are so fortunate to be able to say that we were part of your journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. Middle college is, it's a pretty interesting school. It's um, a lot different from um, the school I came from, and middle college is a lot more accepting, and it helps you believe in yourself and let you know that you can do it by yourself, but there are always people to help you in case you need it, so. It's not like other schools where like, it's like a bunch of kids, it's just like a little family, we just, we just help each other and then every, everyone's supportive, which I appreciate. My experience at middle college was a lot different than um, my previous high school. I made a lot more friends and I had a lot better relationships with my teachers and the staff working there. It was more close-knit, which I really liked. I remember my first day at middle college. I was just trying to get a feel of the what the school looks like and everybody was super welcoming and all the teachers were very understanding of my situation. It's been a really long journey to get here and I'm so happy to have finally graduated. And it's kind of insane that I did and I'm very happy to have graduated from middle college because I had to switch high schools part way through and I did running start and I'm getting my associate's degree next week. I've never even gotten above a 3.0 GPA and I have finished graduating with a 3.7 GPA so that's really great and all I have to thank is my teachers and my principal for that. Something I will never forget about middle college is the teachers, all of them being so kind and just respectful and always finding new and interesting ways to like teach us and bring us into, you know, you're not alone, we're here for you and we're here to teach you and help you through life. Middle college, yeah, it was, it was kind of different from my former high school. It was less students and uh, less stuff to uh, learn about and stuff like that. So, yeah, it was a different experience coming here to middle college. I guess I guess coffee has been a big part of like my, my middle college experience because I figured out pretty soon that I wasn't like able to go get coffee during lunch. So, what do I do? I go and I bring in a coffee machine. It just it like really helped us bond as a community to have this like thing that we're all doing together. Um, because middle college high school is such a small community, we're able to have these like smaller experiences um, that you wouldn't be able to have at a big high school. Like you don't have school-wide coffee at other places. So that was just a really fun thing that we got to do as a, as a small community. Jonathan. Yay, congratulations. Yeah. Ezra. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! All right, Ari. All right, congratulations. Thank you. And you have something special too. You have earned a scholarship from the Simon Youth Foundation for two-year scholarship. Woo! So, woo! congratulations, Ari. Greetings to the Simon Youth Academy graduates at the John Marshall Alternative High School in Seattle. I'm Michael Dernal, President and CEO of the Simon Youth Foundation, and I'm pleased to share some exciting news with you today. At SYF, we believe that cost alone should never prohibit a student from continuing their education and unlocking doors that otherwise would have remained closed. That's why each year, SYF awards over a million dollars in scholarships to help students like you continue your education. Now more than ever, it is my great honor to represent the Simon Youth Foundation, to celebrate the graduations, and to recognize the accomplishments of these scholarship recipients. And also to ensure that the events of the past few months do not stop any of you from pursuing your dreams. I'm proud to announce that the Simon Youth Academy at John Marshall Alternative High School has two scholarship recipients this year. Please join me in congratulating the recipients with a round of applause as their names are called. The first scholarship is a renewable two-year scholarship valued at $35,000 and is being presented to Ariana R. Phillips, a spring 2020 graduate of the Simon Youth Academy at John Marshall Alternative High School. Ariana, your scholarship will support you as you study at North Seattle Community College. Congratulations. Alex, come on up. Come on 
job. There you go. All right, congratulations. You can move your tassel. Yay! Come on up, Maeve. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, go ahead and turn your tassel. Yay! Yay! We also have another surprise for you. You have won. You have also won the Simon Youth Foundation uh, scholarship. Oh my God. For four years. Yeah. Yeah. So, scholarship winner. So, we have a big box of stuff for you, but it's lost in FedEx land right yeah. now. So, you will get it in the next day or two. Hopefully. Okay, awesome. <laughs> but you won a scholarship, so it's yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. A second scholarship is a renewable four-year scholarship valued at $15,000 and is being presented to Maeve K. Flynn, a spring 2020 graduate of John Marshall. Maeve, your renewable scholarship will support you as you study at Western Washington University. You both should be very proud of these accomplishments and all of the graduates of the work that you have done. We hope these scholarships allow you to pursue your dreams and set you on a path to a bright future. On behalf of all of us at the Simon Youth Foundation and our board of directors, I offer my sincerest congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020. All right, Beyonce, come on up. Yay. Congratulations. Yay. 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 Ashley, yeah. there you go, congratulations. Come on up. There you go. Now you move your tassel. Yay! Yay! All right, Maya, come on over. There you go. Congratulations. Awesome. There you go. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Alex, come on over. Congratulations. There you go. You can move your tassel. And now it's time to share our graduates. On behalf of all seven of the school board directors and with the authority vested in me as the school board president, I accept the students before me as 2020 graduates of Middle College High School. Congratulations. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished.